I've got a really cool revision tip for you. I've got a great revision tip for you. Great, so we've got, so we've got two, two revision, revision tips that could, that could save, save your, your grade, grade in these weeks, weeks two weeks to the exams. To the exams. Okay, well, well, you go first. Yeah, I'll go first then, yeah. So this is called the Feynman Technique. Have you heard of that? Yeah, I've heard about that. I've seen your video, uh, Feynman Technique in the 21st Century, where you use your phone and explain to that and kind of capture your explanation and keep honing it to make it better. So it's Feynman's way of learning anything, of not just of remembering anything, but really understanding anything. So it's about explaining, and this is gonna help you with those explain questions. And what Feynman said you should do is try and explain something out loud, try and explain it to yourself. And if, when you explain it to yourself, or if you just explain it to a wall or to a camera or something like that, you get to these points where you're not really sure what to say. And that's the point where you should realize that you, you don't understand what you're trying to explain well Yeah, I think enough. we've all got to that point where we're trying to explain something, we just don't have the words that we need. Yeah, and when you get to those points where you don't understand well enough, then that's when you do that extra bit of research, that extra bit of revision. So it kind of highlights the areas that you don't understand well enough. So essentially, it's just about explaining to the wall or to the camera or just to yourself, explaining and then revisiting where the areas that you didn't understand so well. You need to explain it out loud so that you actually force yourself to get to those points. Because if you don't actually, you know, if you don't actually say it out loud, then you don't, um, I've got one of those points right now, then you aren't forcing yourself to put your ideas like into something real. You aren't forcing yourself to really think it through. I think that's an absolutely great tip, especially if you're trying to understand something that you're struggling to get your head around. So what about yours? So my revision tip is called the Ebbinghaus system. And Ebbinghaus system is all about how you remember or really is how you forget. Yeah, I know that forgetting curve. So it's about not just revising something once during the revision period, revising it repeatedly. So doing something, revising it once, and then revising all the other stuff, coming back to it, revising that first topic again, then repeat, then revisiting it one more time again. So it's just about repeatedly making notes then. Okay, yeah, it's like making notes, but what you do is you make detailed notes first, and then you reduce those down to just bullet points. That's the first time you review something. Then, after that, you just take that down to just keywords. So each time you review on that Ebbinghaus forgetting curve, or now we're gonna call it the remembering curve because this is to help you remember stuff, then you are having less and less detail, but you're remembering the more detailed version that came before it. That's right, your memory does like repetition. Really quickly then, have we still got time? It's still time. <laughs> That's right, revision always pays off, even if it's uh, only two weeks to go.